At the University of Houston, things were starting to feel normal again, for the most part. It's been good so far. I think it's a little chaotic because they have to change around my classes. Some places are still being cleaned up. Even though the school is open, my classes are not meeting. So my teachers are being considerate of the other students that were affected more by Harvey. Hurricane Harvey was still on the minds of many. Amber Duarte and her family experienced more than 20 centimeters of water in their house. Normally we were kind of used to just going, the water would only come up to the driveway. Um, and then like within minutes it came into the house. We got up to five feet of water in our house. Like, it, like in our house, it was like really high and it was there for a whole week. It just got out yesterday. On this first day back to class since the hurricane hit, the university president visited students to offer her support with a few caveats. Now make sure you know what I can and cannot do for you. Please don't ask me to change your grade. <laughs> I'm sorry I cannot do that. Abraham Garcia was less worried about his grades and more worried about the Trump administration's decision to end the DACA, or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, of which he is a recipient. Trying to be as Still, he was but resolved to graduate. The only thing we could do is move forward and try to pursue our education, because that didn't, we understand that education is the key to ultimate success. We are an institution of higher learning. We have passion for teaching, for educating, and we want to help people complete their dreams. Even though we don't know who is undocumented on campus, it doesn't matter. They're all our students. Armando Salinas, another DACA recipient, remained hopeful. It's just something like you, you, you know that it's a risk, but you can't be living in fear. Having been through Hurricane Harvey, these Houstonians know a thing or two about perseverance. Tina Trin, VOA News, Houston.